Hey YouTube, uh, I want to do a video for you today um, about a book that a fellow YouTuber, Zion Prepper, uh, wrote. It's called The Prepper's Handbook. Don't be scared, don't panic, just prepare a guide to surviving on your own. Um, he sent me that to take a look at and talk over with you guys. Um, I would say that it's a book more geared for a beginning prepper. Um, it does cover a lot of great topics. Uh, like food, water, uh, shelter, you know, the normal things that you would expect. And he does a great job uh, of explaining um, things about water and why it's necessary and how to store it. Uh, same with food and shelter and even goes into a little bit about um, energy uh, and that kind of thing. Um, I saw it as kind of a, an instructional guide as a, like a book full of facts about prepping. And I think, I think I had some issue with, it, 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 it's tough to write a book about a topic like prepping where when you try to give just facts and instruction, when there's really no real way to, um, to say that, you know, this is the way you do it across the board when, when prepping is going to differ for everyone's situation, which he does mention in the book. Um, he mentions that, that he himself uh, is planning for, um, you know what, let me just, it's right here on the second page, I believe, just read it out of here so I don't misquote him, um, that his family is prepared to live self-sustained for approximately six months. They're not preparing for an end-of-the-world-as-we-know-it situation. Instead, they're focused on an event such as a tornado, earthquake, hurricane, flood, economic crisis, or H1N1 epidemic, basically anything that would have a mass effect on society with severe repercussions. In most instances, six months should be more than enough time for electricity, food, water, and other essential services to be restored. And he goes on to explain that that is, um, you know, his way of looking at things, that there, that's his opinion, and, and that's fine. There's no problem with that. Um, if that's what you believe, I don't necessarily believe the same thing, that, um, that six months is enough for me. I don't necessarily believe that six months will be enough for everything to be restored um, back to the way it was in, if, if I'm preparing for any situation. If I'm only preparing for, you know, a tornado, a natural disaster, something like that, then, then sure, probably six months would be more than enough. If I'm looking more of a hyperinflation, economic collapse situation, or say an EMP because of you know, a, a nuclear uh, reason or because, you know, a, a solar flare, you know, that kind of thing, then no, I don't believe six months will be long enough. In, in the case of an, an EMP that, that takes out the power grid, it, it would more likely be, uh, you know, years before things are back to uh, quote unquote normal. Um, but again, he does mention that that's his opinion. Um, I, I would have liked to have seen him talk a little bit more about the other option of people who prepare more long term. Um, I think if you're a beginning prepper and you're just getting into it, if you, you're you really not sure what you're preparing for uh, and that kind of thing, I would have liked to you know, have him talk more about the fact that some people do prepare for longer and there are things that um, it is going to take longer than six months to get back on track. But again, that's that's the issue with writing a book and trying to provide, to put out factual information about things that are more opinion-based, that vary, you know, based on your particular situation. Uh, but all in all, it was a great book, and there's a lot of good uh, tips and advice and knowledge to be gained from it. So I would recommend it uh, for a beginner prepper just to, um, you know, kind of get the idea how things are going. And he says in, in the, uh, toward the end of the book, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um... Right here, he says his sole purpose was to provide exposure to the prepper, the prepper lifestyle, and the opinions that preppers may consider. The questions you now have to answer are what outcome do you hope for and are you ready to become a prepper? So, you know, his purpose was to provide exposure to the prepper and the prepper lifestyle, and I think he's done that well in his book. Um, it's a nice book, easy to read. I think it's only like 80-some pages, um, bright white stock, decent sized printing, so it's going to be an easy read for just about anybody. Um, but yeah... 
Uh, thanks to Zion Prepper for sending this to me. I'll put a, uh, a link below so you can contact him for more information about it. I don't have an exact price on it or um, exactly where you can get it because it was uh, sent to me by him. But I do believe it's available on Amazon.com. Um, but again, Zion Prepper, I'll put his link below so you can talk to him more about that if you're interested in it. So um, thanks for sending that over. I appreciate you doing that. Um, I really enjoyed reading it. And, uh, and that's it, guys. Check it out. Thanks for watching.